Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the wing design that I've been working on and some of the CAD models that I have. So let's go get on the computer and get into it. So here is the, the wing design itself. As you can see, there, this is, there's three parts to it. There's the two stabilizers on each side and the wing going across over here. Technically, it's really more than three parts, but that's the three main parts. So if I hide everything else and just look at the stabilizer, as you can see, it's a relatively simple design. There's a vertical stabilizer here and then the base that goes down to the trunk and mounts on the trunk here, here, on the bottom surface. That's what will come into contact with the trunk. I wanted to go more of the OEM plus style rather than having two center supports, so I went went for the the side supports. Here is the center section. It's about uh, I think it was 12, 40 millimeters long from here to from stabilizer to stabilizer. It's relatively simple with only seven parts in total, excluding the hard hardware. I didn't count the hardware in here. As you can see, there's a lot of rounds on here to hopefully disperse the load more evenly and make it easier to lay carbon over here. It could, it could hold here without bridging. And then I have rounds on most places just so it, it drapes over evenly without bridging when laying down the carbon. And I also chamfered the back edge of this wing a little bit so it's not as sharp in comparison to to what it was because it was way out here and come down to a point it still comes down to a relatively a, a relative point but it's not as sharp as it was hopefully to minimize the how fragile it is right there and it will also when you lay the carbon the, the, the layers will offset and make it thicker so that should solve that problem a little bit more too. So now I'm going to jump into a little uh, time lapse to show you how the, the stabilizer and airfoil was made and then I'll be back.
Hey guys, I'm back. After watching that time lapse, I wanted to show you some of the, the design features in, in a little bit more detail. Um, the first one I want to talk about is actually how I'm mounting to the the trunk itself. If I go over to this model over here, you can see the. Let me turn off this body right here and turn on this mesh. As you can see, the the trunk's a pretty flat surface. So what I wanted to do. I just want to put some foam on the bottom right here and string it all around similar to how the, the STI wing does but I also wanted to just have it flat the first one I wanted to talk about is the the nut itself here so all of these parts are going to be 3D printed out and there there's no real good way to, to mount it through plastic and through carbon because carbon's kind of flaky and then the, the plastic won't really bite into anything. So what I decided to do, let me go over to this model right here. It'll be easier to see. As you can see, this is a different material. I'm going to make this, I'm going to machine it out of aluminum and have the bolts come up through the carbon, through the plastic, and into the aluminum that's going to be threaded. So this is basically going to be one giant nut with two two bolts going through it. Let me, let me go over here and hide some bodies. If I hide the wing, you can see how it's cut into the wing, so it just slots right in. But the 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 flat surface here is going to be recessed in, so it should sandwich the plastic inside the the mold, the the part itself. So it should hold relatively well. This is what the the print's going to look like, and all of this is going to be wrapped into in carbon so you will never see the aluminum itself it'll just be inside the body all you'll you'll be able to see is these holes that the nuts or the, the bolts will go through uh the next design feature i wanted to talk about is it's very similar and it is how the wing is held on it's another similar piece where the aluminum this is going to be a, an aluminum piece right here with a bunch of holes in it two of these holes will be threaded and the the wing stabilizer the side piece right here the wing stabilizer would then have hardware go through there and thread and should well and should thread into these holes that will and this will all be wrapped in carbon as well so this shouldn't be able to be a, a pull, like a tear out or pull out situation it should just hold relatively well. And it's being sandwiched too, so that should help with taking the load also. Most of the load shouldn't be lateral. It should be vertical going down or up depending on, on the situation. So it should, I don't have to worry about much of a tear out, but I will have washers on the edge of this just to hold a little bit more and disperse the load over a bigger area. One other thing I want to talk about is actually this is an the wing itself is actually an airfoil. It's actually a E216 if anyone's curious. So that's the the general wing design and what I did over here was I took a mesh to find the relatively or the relative angle of the trunk going sloping down. And if you also have some keen eyes, you can tell that these two are not the same. Um, I can talk about it in a future video, but I basically had to shorten the little back piece right here because it was actually it was actually clipping into the the spoiler of the stock WRX. So I had to shorten that to match the stock STI holes. If I go over, I had some canvases. If you look, I actually. Found, I found some templates online that are the, those cut holes for an STI, and I've been using the right here, the, the two holes right here. I've been using those for this wing. So, in theory, it should be able to hold, or it should be able to to use the stock STI holes. So it should bolt right up to any STI that wants to take off the, that wing and put it on and put this wing on there. So that's another design feature that I wanted to have. One other thing is the the angle of attack for this this wing should be 
around three degrees sloping down, but that's not taking into account this slope right here that's flat with the trunk. So, so the true angle of attack, or pitch as they call it, is going to be a slightly more than this three degrees that has this the, the slope is right here for the airfoil. That's about it for the CAD models. If anyone's got any questions, just let me know. Put it down in the comment section. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from y'all. And if you haven't, go check out that intro video of the wing design. It, it goes more into detail on how I came up with it and why I decided to three-piece. Go check it out after this video. Thank you all for watching. See y'all later.